But first, a family's devastating loss. A Valley High School sports star died last week at the age of 26. Zach Hoffpower dominated the field both in football and in baseball. He also battled depression and suicidal thoughts before being diagnosed with chronic Lyme disease. Tonight, Zach's mother looks back on the time that she spent with her son, all in an effort to understand why and how this could have happened. Team 12's William Pitts has our story. He could walk in and change the room. He had a smile that was infectious. Zach Hoffpower seemed to have it all. Named the best player to ever come out of Centennial High. He played football and baseball for Stanford. The Arizona Diamondbacks drafted him, but he was miserable. Zach appeared on a podcast with former ASU player Jordan Simone last year. People always thought I was the happiest guy. Inside, I was so miserable, but I would fake it. He just continued to go downhill and it was a constant fight to survive a day and to have joy. Zach had five or six concussions during his football career. When his playing career was over, he struggled with finding his purpose. He came down with valley fever. That turned to meningitis, then Lyme disease, and the depression that comes with it all. He was never going to be the same person after his concussions, and he couldn't really see the color of his eyes, and didn't register emotion, and couldn't feel emotions for a really long time. His podcast talks about how dark he went, and he ended up in the mental hospital. My friends were worried about me. Um, I was suicidal beyond whatever you could imagine. Like, I was like, I'm done. Like, I have nothing else to give. I did try to take my own life. I, I tried to overdose. You know, I just, I wanted, it was almost a cry out for help. Mm -hmm. I think Zachary was the perfect storm. Zach's parents say doctors told them those concussions may have made him more susceptible to the diseases. The concussions didn't help at all, you know, and then that's why he got valley fever and meningitis. Doug and Shannon are donating Zach's brain to the Boston University Brain Bank. They want to know if he had chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE, a degenerative brain disease linked to concussions. They hope maybe it can help other players. Exactly what happened, the medical examiner hasn't made a ruling. Zach's family hopes people will remember him the way they remember him, caring, compassionate. He would say, it is not about what you do. It is not about your accomplishments. It is about who you are because some of his lowest places, he would look around at other broken people and he would say, these are my people. William Pitts, 12 News. Okay, Will, thanks. Uh, we want to say our thoughts first and foremost are with Zach's family and let you know that there are resources out there. If you're facing days where you feel overwhelmed with anxiety or depression, the Cactus Coalition is a group of influencers working to find solutions and that includes MASK, Mother's Awareness of school Age Kids, and also the Arizona Interscholastic Association. For more information, just go to cactuscoalition.com.